Hey, what's up everybody? This is Todd Bowen from sittingposture.com. Welcome to today's video. Three computer posture mistakes, excuse me, three worst computer posture mistakes and fixes. We'll go over the three worst mistakes that I've ever made while sitting at a computer, as well as the ways um, that I fix them. Uh, quick fine print here. Uh, my content is not medical advice. It's based off my experience and my opinions. Like I just mentioned, I talk about good habits that have helped me live a higher quality sedentary lifestyle. Uh, do your research, make good decisions, and be the best advocate possible for your own health care. Mistake number one that I always made, my monitor was way too low, and that caused uh, a lot of neck issues, a lot of overextension in the back of my neck, and a lot of tension issues, uh, compression in the front of my neck. Uh, let's look at an example here. A perfect example uh, is if someone's using a laptop, uh, using the monitor on their laptop for long periods of time, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, um, on an everyday basis, basically. Um, I, I know laptops are convenient. Uh, we'll be able to take them places. We can't always take an extended monitor with us, um, but ideally we want to avoid looking down at that monitor screen on a laptop uh, for long periods of time. Uh, look here how she's looking down at a 45 degree angle just to see the top of her monitor screen. Um, like I said, that's gonna cause a lot of overextension in the back of these and the back muscles of the neck. Um, and a lot of compression, tension in the front muscles of the neck. So it's a lot of muscle confusion. Uh, the front and the back of the neck doesn't know what to do. Um, it's a lot of overuse and repetitive strain for that neck. Let's take a look at a picture of a great example of an extended monitor. She's working at a standing desk, which is good. Uh, that's also good. Uh, if you look down here, if she was looking at her monitor, she's looking down at that 45 degree angle to just see the top of her monitor, but she's not worried about that because she's got the top of her monitor screen, her extended monitor at eye level, and that allows her to keep her neck in a neutral and balanced position. Um, this is a, a fix that I did after making that mistake for many years of looking down at my monitor. Um, even when I was using an extended monitor, it would be too low and I was still looking down at that. But ideally we wanna have the top of our monitor screen at eye level. Okay, mistake number two, elbows below desk level. Again, this is a, a common mistake and, and I made it for, for many years. Uh, look at his how his elbows are below the desk level. So his forearm has to go upward at an angle in order for him to use that keyboard and that mouse. Um, what that does here is that he has to contract his bicep in order to lift his hands on that keyboard and mouse. That bicep is contracted eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, um, and that repetitive strain and that overuse uh, causes a big issue with that bicep. We might not feel the tension or the pain in that bicep, but um, here's another example of the elbow being too low below the desk level, forearm at an upward angle. So back to what I was saying, we might not feel the tension or the pain in that bicep, uh, but we will feel it in our shoulders. Because if you look at this picture here on the left, uh, once this bicep contracts repetitive strain and overuse and gets, um, gets overused, these two tendons right here connect the bicep muscles to a bone up in the shoulder area. That's where we're gonna feel the pain and inflammation in my case and in a lot of other people's cases. Not saying this is the case with everyone. Uh, some people might have issues down here with this elbow tendon uh, where these biceps um, connect to the forearm. Um, but in my situation, I had this shoulder pain uh, from using this bicep too much. Uh, let's look at an example here. Um, this guy on the left has got a good elbow height going on. It's slightly above desk level. You can see how his forearms are pretty much parallel to the floor uh, in order to use that keyboard. Um, and if anything, I would like to have my elbow a little bit higher in my forearms at a, a little bit of a downward angle. That'll put a little bit more weight, a little, excuse me, a little more burden onto the tricep. If you look over here on the picture on the right. Um, and I don't, I've never had an issue using my tricep more uh, while typing. I've never had an issue with pain in the tricep tendons. It's always those bicep tendons. Um, so I'm okay with lifting that elbow up just a little bit higher. Uh, over here, you can see the woman in the, in the middle. She's got hers a little bit too low. She's got a little bit of an upward angle going on of the forearm. It might not seem like a big deal, but trust me, it is. With this bicep being contracted for long periods of time, uh, eventually she's going to feel it somewhere, and most likely it's going to be um, in her shoulder. Mistake number three, feet not flat on the floor. Believe it or not, this can cause tons of issues, even though we're sitting. Um, 
Uh, let's see here, here's a good example. Look at the picture on the left. This is exactly how I used to sit for many years. My chair was too low um, and my job was stressful. What it would do is it would cause me to contract my hamstrings and pull my feet underneath my body. So when these hamstrings are con contracted all day long, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, um, that repetitive strain and overuse comes in, becomes an incredible burden on the legs. Uh, the quadriceps become overextended. The hamstrings are too short. The quads are lengthened. Um, this causes all kinds of confusion in the muscles and then the knee gets a lot of dysfunction. Um, and another thing to mention, we'll look at this picture right here. Look at all these tendons over here. So what happens here is the back, the calf muscle into the Achilles and the, into the soleus and into the Achilles, these are all overextended getting lengthened. But on the front, we've got a muscle called a tibialis, which goes from the foot to uh, the top of the lower leg. That's getting contracted and crushed, uh, not crushed, compressed, uh, shortened, I should say. All, you, all this over here on the front is getting compressed and shortened when everything on the back is getting overextended and lengthened, causing all kinds of muscle confusion and joint dysfunction. Uh, so uh, going over here, uh, look at this flat, Feet flat on the floor, neutral position, uh, much better position to be in, uh, neutral, balanced position. So let's go over some the summary here of bad computer, excuse me, bad computer posture fixes. Uh, these are the ways that I fix the three worst uh, computer posture mistakes that I've ever made. Number one, the top of my monitor screen is always eye level. Number two, elbows slightly above desk level, so my forearm is at that is either parallel to the floor or at a slightly downward angle. Uh, and number three, feet flat on the floor. Believe it or not, that does make a huge difference even though we're sitting. And all three of these computer posture fixes apply regardless if we're working at a sitting workstation or a standing workstation. All these three uh, rules of thumbs have helped me in a major way improve my computer posture, um, and I hope it helps you guys out too. So let's look at one last picture, a great diagram of these three fixes uh, being put to use. Eye level is at the top of the monitor screen, elbow is slightly above desk level, and feet are flat on the floor. So that's it for today's video, uh, three worst computer posture mistakes and fixes. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You're taking a big step forward in improving the quality of your life and your computer posture, and that's something to be very proud of. If you want to keep up with my content, the best way to do that is to sign up for free email updates. Uh, my newsletter is called Computer Posture Weekly. You can sign up for that at sittingposture.com slash newsletter. Uh, again, that's sittingposture.com slash newsletter. I'll put that link down in the details of this video. Uh, what I do is I send out one video, uh, I'm sorry, one email a week on Fridays. Uh, I don't spam, I don't sell email addresses uh, to other companies. Uh, what, what that email includes on Fridays is one link to the email that I wrote on my website, as well as two links to the YouTube videos that I posted to my channel for that week. So if you wanna sign up for that, go to sittingposture.com slash newsletter. And of course, like this video if it helped you out. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see my videos in your YouTube feed more often. And um, share this video with a friend if you'd like, because uh, who sits at a computer for uh, long periods of time? Uh, because the more people see my videos, the more ability I have to uh, create more content and it helps me out uh, in a very big way. So that's it for today. This is Todd Bowen from sittingposture.com. Thanks, everybody. Take care.